Jen here and I have a stretch the sketch layout for you. You can see the sketch that we're using this month right up in that top corner. It's really fun because it combines a bunch of different sizes of photos and then it has some paper strips and a few little embellishments. Um, so this is kind of perfect for me because multi-photo layouts are a bit of a challenge. I'm getting much better at them, I have to say. Um, this series has definitely kind of pulled me out of my shell a bit and, and really challenges me to get lots of multi-photo layouts done. So that's really good. I, I like that <laughs> um, and I definitely need it. But I am starting to do some of my own even without having a sketch to kind of prompt me to do it. So yay that's good um, and so these photos I think when I when I originally printed them I probably was anticipating scrapping them all individually but I'm gonna put them all together into one two-page layout um, the pictures don't really match the sketch just because I didn't really have pictures that kind of go <laughs> in the same configuration as the sketch but I do get four, well, I guess technically um, one, two, three, four, five, six photos onto the layout, but kind of in, in four sets, if that makes sense, because I'm going to cut these photos apart and then kind of mat them together so they go back onto the page in a roughly four by six size, um, but there's a little gap in between where you can see the, the color of the matting. Um, so in my mind, four photos um, between the two pages. And these are pictures of Sebastian's birthday from last year. So the first picture that you saw me matting was a selfie of me and him at the mall. Um, Sebastian unfortunately ends up usually having to spend his birthday at a dance competition. <laughs> so that was just him and I at the mall while we were uh, killing some time. Kaylin had a big gap between a really early morning um, stage performance and then all the rest of them were in the afternoon. So we went to the mall to kill some time. And then when we got home finally that night, we had birthday cakes. So there's a picture of him with his candles. And then on the other side is just him opening some of his gifts. So um, kind of fun pictures to scrap, especially because uh, today we actually did a birthday little birthday parade for my niece she turned five so we all got in our car my parents and us and um, her other grandparents and everyone hopped in their cars and we had balloons and noisemakers and um, the boys made posters and stuff like that and we drove out to their house and did a little parade and honked our horns and blew blew on her noisemakers and saying happy birthday and just made her day a little bit more special. She was so excited to see the balloons. <laughs> it was actually really cold because it's it's Canada, so it snowed today and uh, was was cold. I think it snowed almost every day this month. Eh, Sean? He says yes, it snowed just about every day this month so far. Um, so she was kind of chilly um, and came out long enough to dance around a little bit and say hello to everybody and get super excited when we sang her happy birthday. And then she grabbed her balloons and ran back in the house. <laughs> Don't worry though, I sprayed them all down so they were disinfected. Um, but yeah, she was just really excited to kind of see this fun parade that was done for her. So gotta love these new birthday party ideas that we're that we're doing to help make our little ones feel extra special and then I got to come home and do a voiceover about my little guy's birthday so that's kind of nice uh, so this was last year when he turned seven and I just thought I happened to have these four pictures they worked out perfectly and I have this paper pack it's a six by six six by six paper pack from crate paper uh, it, I think it's called confetti wishes and it's just really fun it's kind of a different take on a birthday collection because it has all the standard birthday things like cake 
and candles and uh, little you know things that say hooray and that kind of stuff but then it also has this kind of tropical theme to it with um, tropical birds and tropical plants and stuff like that so I don't know it's just kind of fun and a little bit different and um, my youngest is also kind of fun and a little bit different so I think it suits him really well and it just had lots of really fun patterns that were nice and bright and colorful and so I thought that it would work really well with this design of having kind of the strips going along the side and so I pulled out a few of the different patterns that I thought would kind of work well as strips and went ahead and just cut those up and both sides don't match obviously because the this side here um, these two pictures are kind of longer rather than taller so the strips here are a little bit shorter whereas on the other side I have the two four by sixes on top of each other so there was a little bit more space on that far uh, right hand side so the strips are a little bit longer a little bit more uniform um, but it also left, you know, a different kind of gap for where I'm putting my titles. So both sides definitely go together and I will bring them together with some embellishment in the center. Um, but they're also kind of unique and a little bit different in, in how they look if you look at them separately. So I used the, um, those are pink paisley uh, chipboard thickers because even though they're not quite an exact match for the colors that are in the crepe paper um, papers they're close enough and I think they really spell out birthday nicely with all those different colors so I decided to make my title birthday wishes and then here just to kind of fill in some of those odd little gaps I'm gonna put some of the pieces that I cut apart uh, from one of the pages in that little six by six pad. So on this side it says um, party animal and um, happy birthday and on the other side I think that says um, something about cake. <laughs> I can't remember. Take a, take a slice or something like that and then hooray. And now here I'm going to add some enamel dots. These are from um, Pink Fresh. They were just a really nice big sheet of enamel dots and they kind of have those those primary colors that you see in the collection as well and then now i want to do something that kind of bridges the two layouts together so something that really kind of ties them together obviously all of the patterns are very similar um well they're exactly the same but i didn't mirror them on each side or anything like that so you could almost see these as two separate layouts if they showed up in an album in two separate places you could kind of read them as individual layouts but I really want them to to read more as a two two page I don't think I explained either about the background you didn't see me do any mixed media in that background but there are a few little splatters of green and blue I actually have these two pieces of paper that I think I started for a different layout and just never finished and they were just sitting in um, my cardstock that I had and so when I saw them I thought oh, well I'll go ahead and use them for this layout even if I end up covering up most of that uh, mixed media there's there they were identical so they're perfect as a starting um, background for a two-page layout so that's where that came from I don't even remember doing it it's been that long <laughs> um, but it worked out really good because there is a lot of green and blue in this collection so uh, it matches and I think it just adds a little bit of kind of fun to to the background so you can see I'm just gonna kind of make a bit of a cluster here there are a few different sheets in that six by six paper pad that you can use to cut little things apart so there's that really fun kind of record player and then I think one of them says birthday wishes or make a wish 
and I have that little tag that says to and from so I thought that could be the element that kind of bridges the two papers um, kind of makes you know the connection between the two and I'll just cut it in half as soon as I get the other side the cluster on the other side put together so I'm just gonna mix a whole bunch of things I think I have I think that one says um, eat cake and then this big one that I'm gonna cut out here everything on this page looks like little stamps so I'm just kind of cutting cutting them square I'm not gonna try to take the time to cut out the little scalloped pieces from the stamp they're just too tiny um, and so that one says happy birthday uh, and I cut one more out I think oh yes from this black paper here with the black background there is a piece that says um, party I think it just says party so I put that too and you can see I mean it's really interesting because I automatically take this as a birthday collection but there's a lot of kind of these fun tropical elements so like this little red piece that I just cut out it has a toucan with a banner that says party and then some tropical flowers on the other side so if you were doing a luau or a barbecue or anything like that this would also be a great collection to to pull out and I don't have anything else from it I literally just have this one six by six um, paper pad and I don't remember why I have it I don't <laughs> I don't remember where it came from um, but it's lots of fun this is the first time I've really dug into it and I definitely am going to use some more of it and I wanted to get the number seven on there so I went back to those thickers and there were two of every other number except seven so that seven is kind of a burgundy color which is not in the collection at all but that's totally fine I think it looks it looks fine it kind of blends in because there's just so much color going on and my finishing touch is going to be just a sprinkle of gold all over the place to match all of the gold foil that you see in all of the papers and because it's a birthday so the more gold the better right absolutely <laughs> um, and that is it that's my layout for this month thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you have any questions you can leave them for me in the comments down below and check the description box for the links to everybody else who played along this month for tons of inspiration. I hope you're all doing well. Please stay safe and until next time, happy scrapping. Bye!